In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to add vertical lines to slope graphs. Last weekend, I had posted this challenge. I showed this slope graph, but what's different about this slope graph is that I have vertical lines going through the dots. This is a really nice way to sort of bring it all together and to, and to give a little bit of more structure to your slope graph. So I posted data, the data and asked people to see if they could reproduce it. And today I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing you need to do is to connect to the data. This is in an Excel file. And I called it my slope graph sample. When I look at this data source, you'll see that I have my fruits and then I have east and west split up into two columns. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to pivot these. So I'm going to highlight those two columns, click the drop down, and choose pivot. I'm going to rename this field to region and rename this one to sales. Go ahead and give my worksheet, uh, I'm sorry, my data source a name. And then I'll go ahead, just go ahead and go to sheet one. From here, it's pretty straightforward. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put sales in the rows. And I get a bar chart. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put region in the columns and divide it up by fruit. So I'm going to drag fruit to detail. And then to build the slope graph, the first thing you do is you change it to a line. And you can now instantly see that you have a nice little slope graph. OK, so I'll maybe make it a little bit wider so you can see it a little better. But the problem is, when I right click on this axis here, I have no way of drawing a vertical line. So this is where it gets a bit tricky. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a calculated field. I'm just going to call this my region number. And what I'm going to say is, if my region is equal to east, then one, else two. So that's basically assigning a number to each of my regions. And you'll see Tableau puts that in the measures area, but really I want this to be a dimension, so I'll just drag it up. So now what I need to do is I need this region to be continuous. So I'm going to right click and make it continuous. I'm going to take region off of my columns and move it to detail. And then put my region number up in the columns. And you'll see now I have two little dots. Okay, So from here, uh, what I want to do is I want my path to go across my regions. So I'm going to move region to path. And now I have my nice little slope graph. OK, so now on the slope graph, I like to have dots on the end. So I'm going to put region in the view again. And this time, I'm going to change it to circles. From there, I make it dual axis. And then I right click and synchronize. All right, so great. So now I've got my little slope graph. I want my dots to be in front, so that's, that's good. All right, so now um, what I need to do is I need to just go ahead and drag on a reference line. So I'm going to put a constant line uh, for my region number at 1. And then I'm going to, I'm going to edit my, my uh, reference line. I'm going to leave it as a constant, but my custom label is going to be east. My line is going to be a dotted line. And I'm going to maybe make it like a light gray, something like that maybe even make it thinner. All right, so now you can see I've got east down here at the bottom. So let me, uh, let me edit this. And what I want to do now, oops, sorry, that's not quite right. So let me take one of these off. Uh, nope, that, that's OK. Let me right click on it again. And uh, let's format the reference line. And my alignment, in this case, is going to be in the center. And it's going to be at the bottom. And I'm going to set my shading to 100%, so it covers up the white line. OK, great. So now I need to drag on another one. Actually, for now, I'm going to go ahead and take this second region off because I was getting two reference lines. So let's go ahead and put the constant line on again. And this time, we're going to put it at 2. And then let's edit this reference line. And this time, again, we're going to choose it to make it custom and set it to west. Make it a thin dotted line. And then right click and format. Make my shading 100% again. And then my alignment is the center bottom. OK, great. So now I can go ahead and put my region on here again and synchronize. And then make this second one 
dots. Okay, great. Okay, so now I can go ahead and hide, uh, I'm going to untick include and tooltip, and then uncheck the header. All right, so from here it's basically formatting. So I'm going to right click on the view, choose format, and I'm going to set it to Avenir Next Condensed, which is my new favorite font. Make it 12 point, so it's nice and big. Paste that in there for my tooltip. Okay. All right, so now what I need to do is if I hover on my tooltip, you'll see it says Fruit Region East Sales 82. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create two calculated fields. I'm going to call this one East Sales. I'm going to say if region, oops, region equals East, then give me the sales, else null. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this again. And we call this one West Sales. Hit OK. And now I can put both of these in my tooltip. And when I hover over, you'll see, uh, actually, I don't want to do that. I want, in this case, I want to change my tooltip. I want to make my fruit. Uh, all right, let's just leave it like that. It's good enough. Untick the include command. Okay, so now we can see east, west. All right, very good. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, there's a couple more things we need to do. The first thing is we want to, um, we want to go ahead and add some labels on. But first, let's go ahead and color code. We only want strawberries to be a red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on fruit and create a set. And I'm just going to call this one strawberries. Click strawberries, hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and move strawberries to the marks card. And you'll notice that my uh, strawberries have automatically gone to a red color. But I want those to be a specific shade of red. So I'm just going to double click on this here. And what I've done is over here in my notepad, I've gone ahead and picked the hex code. Oops. All right, hit OK. Oops. And the for some reason Tableau did that. Okay, so now I've got my reference line, I've got my nice little lines here. Uh, it looks like these probably need to be formatted. What are these? Okay, those are 12. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format my view. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my row and column dividers, get rid of my zero line, get rid of my grid lines. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and label these, these marks. So first I'm going to hide my sales header. And on my lines, I can go ahead and I want to put, uh, so on my lines, I want to label maybe the right hand side. So what I'll do is I'll turn on label, show marks, line ends. Uh, it looks like I need to go ahead and set the default number format for my sales to be a currency in dollars to zero decimals. Okay. But all I want for my, lab for my line ends is I just want to label the ends of the lines. And let's go ahead <clears throat> and choose to match the mark color. So that looks pretty nice. So now on the dots, um, I only actually want to label these on the left-hand side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and put drag east sales to the label. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag, uh, let's go ahead and put the fruit on the label as well. Okay, you'll notice everything turned up. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tick on the label and uncheck my label marks. That might seem a bit strange right now, but you'll see why in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight just the circles and then right click, mark label, always show. And that'll show it for just those. So now I need to clean my labels up a little bit. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put my fruit at the beginning for the space and then that. All right, maybe center. Okay, so we get something like that. And then I need to align them, oops, align them to the left center. And then in my font, choose to match the mark color. All right, and then the last thing I do is I throw them together onto a dashboard. So I'm going to drag the sheet onto the dashboard. Uh, go ahead and remove that. And I want to make this, uh, let's say, about yeah, 550 width or 600 by maybe something like that. Okay, that's good. And then my title is going to be something like this. 
And what I like to do for my title is I'm just going to go ahead and unbold that, maybe make it about 18 point. And then for my strawberries, I'm just going to go ahead and pick my mark color. Uh, I think that's the same color. Is that the same color? Let me check. Yep, 15759. OK. Hit OK. And now I have a nice little slope graph with some lines in there. So um, hopefully you found that useful. And it's a neat little trick, a neat little way to, uh, to go ahead and add these vertical lines by changing your dimension into a continuous measure. So if you have any questions, just send me a message. Have a great day.